Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Phantom. This is going to be a lower time frame video. We do have a higher time frame video up above, so check that out if that's more what you're interested in. Also good to know the context of the moves we're going to be talking about in today's video. Okay, so let's get into the charts to see what's going on. We're going to go over the two ideas that I'm following is my primary accounts here. Now we've got this potential here where this move could actually be an A, this B, and then the C wave to the upside, looking to potentially target out this $1.10 area. Now, this is still valid for as long as we hold this low here of this 16.42. We need to be aware there are other alternatives where we could actually be looking to break to the downside here, so we just need to be aware of those. Um, but there is still this potential for this um, move to the upside here. Now, we did come down into the 7.86 region, and we have had this reversal up. So we're going to talk about this move in two ways. So we could argue that this is WXY completed here. And we could be looking for the C wave to the upside directly. So we're going to go over how that would be looking to potentially play out here. And what we'd need to see. So if we are looking for that move to the upside here in this C wave. What I'm looking for is we were originally talking about this idea of an extension here. But we actually came down to low now. And, and revising the count. It looks more likely that actually if we are looking at this move to the upside potentially what this would rather be is this is one two three four and five as a contracting diagonal over here now if this is the case effectively our invalidation point of this idea of a bigger push to the upside would be by crossing this 2133 level and what we'd be looking for within this is effectively a three wave move support zone would be this 2657 to this 2343 now if we are looking at the structure here I would say it's likely we're going to see an additional push down here. This 0.618 area is going to be very interesting to me. This 25.23 to this 24.87 area as a possible support zone. Also looking to potentially sweep these lows here towards this 25.43 level. So going to be keeping an eye on that level if we do actually move down here. That could be a potentially interesting zone to see how we react. Now, if we're looking at this idea... We'd need to see a five wave move to the upside after this, looking to target out this 4724 region. So we're going to talk about the more bearish scenario where we could actually be looking to break down from here and take out this low. But this is looking at that bullish scenario where we're treating this as one, two, looking for this as a three and then a fourth and a fifth. Now, it is also possible this could become A, B, and C, and we might not get a move up towards this 1618, and what that would actually look like is something more along these lines, where we would be arguing that what we have here is the potential that either we can count this as WXY for this A wave, or we can still look at it in that way where we look at it a diagonal over here, and then what we'd be looking for would be effectively a B and a C wave up. One to one would be this 3922. The support zone would be pretty much the same as the previous option here. Still looking for the potential that we could look to find support above this 2343. If we lose this 2343, it starts to become less likely that this is going to hold and that potentially we're going to see price actually roll over here and lose this invalidation point. So if we are looking at this move and we only get three waves up, this would not be good um, within the count. It is possible we could still get something like this is ABC and push to the upside. But what I really want to see is a five wave move to the upside here to have more confidence that we're going to be pushing up in a bigger way here. So if we are looking at this move to the downside here, looking for the support zone to actually hold, there's a couple of ways that I'm looking at this. So this applies for both of these counts. What we could actually have here within this way of looking at this count is that we could have this as A, this is a B wave up here. And what we're looking for is one, two, three, four, and five. Now, what I'm looking out for here is that for as long as we stay below this 2833 level, I will be looking for the potential of this fifth wave to the downside. If we do start to break back above this zone, invalidation of this fifth wave comes by crossing this 2953. But really what we need to do is get back above this high just to eliminate any potential that we could have one, two, one, two here. And then we look to break down in a bigger way. So really need to get back above that high. If we do continue to reject down here, Potentially what we could see is price be gravitated towards this 2565 area to this 2499. Now 1.618 of this as an A wave would actually be lower down here towards this 2487. This is looking at this move slightly different to how we're going to go over it in a second. So if we do look at this as A, B and we get the C wave to the downside, this would align with sweeping some of these lows further down here. 
and would align with actually coming back down deeper into this golden pocket area here so i do have this trend line which i've drawn off of some of these previous lows here i've tried to connect as many as possible um, for a more accurate one and what we'd be looking for here effectively is the potential to get a five wave move down looking for this lower target and then from there we need to see how we react if we fail to break back above this previous fourth wave and this high here of this b wave potentially this could be setting us up for this is an a wave we get a b wave up and then we see that continuation to the downside which would not be ready within this count of looking for that possible push to the upside and invalidation of that impulsive count would actually be looking to cross this 2133 so we need to stay above that to keep that alive now it is also possible if i come back out here onto the four hourly that what we could argue is that within this count over here we have this as an a wave this is a b wave and then we're looking at this as one two three four and five now this fourth wave is only two times the length of this wave two so this is perfectly acceptable at the moment uh, we did come up quite high but then this wave two was quite shallow as well so in this count i'm still looking for this potential that you know until we actually invalidate by crossing this 39.82 we could see price start to break down but i'd like to see this high hold if this is the case if we are going to look for that direct push down i want to see 33.09 hold and what i'd want to see is a five wave sequence develop off of this point now if we are looking at this we'd be arguing that we'd be looking for this potential fourth and this fifth wave down typical target area would be actually lower down here this 1930 to this 1634 now we also have some target areas that are aligning with this a wave here so a double bottom here would actually align with a one two three six of the a wave and then we have that one six one eight of this a wave sitting lower down here so going to be very interesting to see how price reacts here um, what we could also look for is another way of measuring these fifth wave targets is this 0.382 of the wave one to three which is actually here at this 2319 and then we have another target here at this 1857 now looking at this current structure i'm going to be very interested in this um 0.382 area to be honest with you because this could actually identify a truncation within here where we get this as one two three four five and we don't quite actually break this third wave low again now this is allowed um we only get confirmation of that though if we get one two three four five by actually crossing back above this high though so until we actually cross back above that We'd have to be careful that we don't have extension to the downside still happening here so if we are looking at this slightly different here looking for this fifth wave down what we need to be careful of is that if i come back in here on the hourly now this is looking at this move slightly different and what we would be arguing is that within here we're looking at this move as one two three four and then this is a fifth wave as a expanding diagonal here now if we're looking at this effectively we'd be looking at this as our wave two so this is our invalidation point the high point of this wave two this 3242 and what we're looking for is that this could be one two three four and five and now if we come down here what we can see is that our fifth wave target is actually in line with this 1.618 so if we do see this fifth wave move down here one two three four five and we break down towards this 2548 level what we need to be cautious of is three wave moves to the upside failing to break back above this previous fourth wave here could actually indicate that we get an additional fifth wave which would be looking to push us down towards this 24 this 2492 to this 2406 region so this would be treating this move as a five wave move now the problem is even if we are looking at this as a five wave move it would be an isolation in this case so unless it is fourth and fifth this could also still become an a we get a b and then we see a c or a one two and three four five to the downside so until we actually break back above this high over here we'd have to be careful if this develops that we don't see further continuation to the downside looking to drag price deeper if i just overlay this though what we can see is that what 0.382 is only a little bit past this target zone here and would actually align with coming back into some of these lows over here so i would be keeping an eye on this but like i said you know potentially this could still be just wave one of five if it's going to extend out um it would be a very big wave one which would mean that we're probably going to break down even deeper so we'd have to be careful but uh, i'm just keeping an eye on this two three one nine as a potential point that we could actually get a truncation here if this is going to look to reverse to the upside here so those bullish counts are still potential there is still potential for these bullish counts but like i said you know we need to hold 
this um, 2343 as our support zone here and what we don't want to see is a five wave move to the downside off these highs because if we do get that then this is going to make this idea of continuation up very unlikely at least within this impulse we could still get this as a a wave we get a five wave move down and three wave move up five wave move down something like this for an a a b and we get something like a flat correction here but uh, it wouldn't mean that would mean that we're potentially going to see that continuation down still so really what we want to do for the bullish count is hold this level and hold this low look to progress up here towards the zone of this 4724 otherwise we have more potential here i think for that downside um but yeah we are in these support zones so we'll have to see how they actually hold having a look at the daily cpr what we can see here is that we are actually currently above these central cpr lines here and we did come up and retest this s2 so now the fact that we moved up here we need to be cautious if we fail to hold these lines this could potentially indicate that we're going to see price actually be gravitated back down towards this r1 line which is this 2612 we have this r2 at this 2547 and other targets down here is this 2488 and this 2422 level so this would align with potentially having a fifth wave down if we see this play out we could see some of these lower targets get hit and our price can always move through these so we need to just be aware of that fact now as well as that if we do maintain above this central line here potentially we could see price move to the upside upside targets for today are this 2795 this 2862 and this level here of this uh, 2921 level as potential zones so we could look for this move to actually push to the upside now if we are looking at the weekly what we can see here is that we actually came down to this r2 line already and we are currently in between this r2 and this r1 line so if we do move up i would be cautious this 2881 could offer us resistance if we see price move up there as well as that if we do move to the downside for this week we still have this r3 line open towards this 24 4, 24 4, 4, 0. Now, if we do see price come down here, our initial target for this fifth is actually looking for this. But if we do see then an additional fourth and a fifth here, potentially we could see price move down towards this 24 foot 40 area as a possible target. Now, we obviously don't have very long left in the week. If we do look to move back to the upside, I would be interested to see how we react around this 30, 3099 to this 3034. Potentially we could look to actually face resistance on these levels and if we did see some kind of an almighty move up here which i'm not thinking is likely but this s1 at this 3318 this s2 at this 203502 and this 3756 are possible target areas if we do start to break back above these cpr lines here now looking at the monthly pivots which will be targets for the rest of this month we can see that we're actually currently starting to break down underneath these central lines now the central line on the lower end here sitting towards this uh, 2732 we have this 2840 and this 2942 as all possible resistance above us again now if we do look to have a move to the downside our r1 target is actually aligning with this 2343 level which would be coming back into this low that we we're talking about and then if we do look to actually move lower down here we have this 1636 as our r2 and this 1134 as our potential r3 so we need to be careful of that now if we do see price actually look to reverse back up here and we get back above these cpr lines through this month potentially something like this see it move down here and then we see price come back up and then we start to look to test some of these higher zones some target areas for these would be this 35 32 this 40 45 and this 47 54 area that would align with the idea of this being a corrective move up or alternatively that idea of this impulse where we look for something like this to actually play out throughout the rest of the month so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this as potential targets if we do move up into these zones okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it is free to join everyone have a great day see you in the next one take care